Hello, YouTube's Alex here, back with some more Space Engineers. Got another ship here, just for a change. <laughs> Not really. Um, anyway, this thing, if you're wondering, um, is something, well, it's it's an omen for something a lot larger and a lot more deadly to come. Hence its name, I suppose. Um, it's kind of un unimaginatively speaking called the uh, called Dread's Omen. As, like I said, it is a, like, you see these things as almost like a precursor to something a lot more deadly in the vicinity. So I suppose you could see these as giant scout ships uh, for a much bigger mothership of sorts, um, but I'm not really sure yet, um, because I've, made, I've already made this thing, but I haven't really made the mothership in any way, shape, or form, not to mention me doing, like, you know, me building very large ships and just, you know, anything like large scale, big projects, anything like that, you know, it's not something I do too often because, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of work uh, to put into those kind of really big, you know, super destroyer size kind of ships, you know, all that sort of stuff. And like I said, my, my sort of ex, like, physical shipbuilding skills is only average at best and it also kind of goes down the pan quickly when I start building large ships uh, because you might notice I do recycle a lot of uh, like frameworks of other creations to make new ones like if you didn't already if you haven't already noticed uh, this ship is primarily based on uh, the Taurus from the DSCTR and also the, the orb in the center here is bait well is from the uh, the glamoral medical ship so you can kind of see you know i i do recycle a lot of previous like shapes and objects from other creations just basically gut them out get the base metal frame or something and then you know just stick a few a few of those together and see what happens so in actual fact there's not a massive amount of building uh, or uh, english um i haven't exactly built a whole lot here in all honesty like, like i'm pretty good at just uh you know, cutting and pasting old creations, because I'll be honest with you, I do feel like me keeping you guys entertained with videos, and more often than not just trying to build things, I kind of do feel like a production line a little bit, um, just trying to get creations churned out there, and and this is also why I alternate between, um, at, the, at the moment, Engineers and Boom Beach. It's really just a fill time, because I can't build ships all the damn time. I have I have a job to do for one thing. Um, so and plus I wanna do other games as well. Uh, not to men uh, speaking of which, just before I actually stop blithering and actually show you this damn ship. Um, I've been playing a new game, let me know if you want me to do it, but I've been playing Just Cause three um, because it was on sale on Steam. It's a bloody fantastic game. I'm loving it. I'm still playing it at the moment. Uh, so let me know if you want me to do any kind of videos on that. Uh, but anyway, this thing let's just get back to the ship because I you know, I just gotta, sometimes I just gotta tell you things, you know. Um, but anyway, the idea of this ship was it's quite evil in theme, hence the ridiculous quantity of spikes and the colour scheme and, you know, it's meant to be evil. Like, you, these things, like, the, the omens are meant to be, you know, medium-sized predator ships of sorts. Like, these things will go after anything equal to or smaller than itself. And depending on, well, sometimes even larger targets, depending if they're armed or not. But, you know, like, you can attack these things uh, if you want. But the idea was, like, if these things get attacked and destroyed, it would all, it, it's almost like they would summon this mother ship in and you're dead basically it, it, it like these these are meant to be feared not because they will kill you I mean they would if you get their attention uh, although I'm actually kind of implying that these ships have a, uh, a consciousness of their own if only that was possible but no um, these will be these are manned by a single person um, inside but they're meant to be like I said it's there's something worse than these omens out there and if you see one you know that that said ship or whatever it is you know it's out there it's in the it's nearby like these things would probably wander a few like a, a hundred or so kilometers away from the mothership whatever it is um you know like i know i'm kind of revolving around this mothership i don't even know if i'm going to really be able to build it like i said i'm i'm thinking a real like some it, it's a ship 
you know, that will probably break the damn game. It will probably break engineers, but at the same time, it's something to be feared. Like I said, something that's just un almost unkillable and will just bust any base you're likely to find. Mind you, that'll probably be a spacefaring ship just because of the size of the ship I'm thinking of here. Um, anyway, let me just stop com rabbiting on about it. Let me just, just go on about this ship here. So, um, anyway, if anyone's still here and I haven't just bored you all, um, it's kind of obvious just looking at it. Um, well, two well two things. One, it's probably one of my this is probably one of my more modded ships. It does have a couple more mods than the average ship, although I still try and keep my mod selection uh, minimal as possible. I mean, we've got the uh, armor ramps mod. I do have what well, you kind of need that though because the these spheres they do use like you can see this 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 piece here is a modded block because you can't get that in a vanilla game. I really wish that mod was just added to the base game. Uh, full stop. The spikes are obviously modded. The battle cannons and turrets. I mean, that's kind of a, a staple when you've got um, the little Davids here. Speaking of which, if this thing is behind, if, if this thing is following you or chasing you, th this is that's the that's what the omen wants. The omen wants you to run because most of its guns are on the front, and the little Davids technically have ten kilometer ranges. So you could you don't even have to get that. This thing doesn't even get that close, and it can start shooting you down. Uh, from a significant range, so I suppose you have to do some invasive maneuvers and wait till it gets in turret range. And like I said, the turrets, or haven't said, but uh, turrets are minimal. But like I said, this is basically an oversized scout ship, really. Uh, if you could think of that, uh, think of it as a scout ship. Uh, the center orb is really the where the control area is, and most of the internals. Although most of this ring here has. Well, I think what's it got in there? It's probably got a few gyros, some power, and shields. Like, lots of, like, redundant systems. So the power grid is, you know, there's no central power grid anywhere, really. Um, so there we have it. So I would say, in terms of other stats of this ship, it's probably best to say its weapons are quite heavy. Um, I should start trying to categorize ships like this. I should say it's got heavy weapons, light armor, and medium level shields. So, like I said, these things can be taken down. I mean, they're meant to be. You know, if these things were feared and people just ran away from these things, like I could imagine, like like um, omen hunters or something. Just some like some other rebels get together. I don't know. Like this is a lot of role playing here, but people come together in you know get some like hunting ships and they could take down the omens. Like these omens. You know, as, as frightening as they might be to any small ship, you know, these are not immortal. You, you can destroy them, sure, but the whole point is they're meant to be a precursor to something a lot more sinister. So let's actually just get inside here, shut up, and, um, you know, I'm just blithering to you guys. You, you kind of know what I do sometimes, but it is quite cramped in here. It's very red, if you couldn't tell, but, you know, only one dude is meant to sit in here, which is right here. And we got that uh, interesting sort of cross shape uh, front window, but in here really is only the bare essentials. You got some gravity, a little bit of cargo, mainly for ammo storage, and I think apart from a bit of oxygen production and storage, uh, it's mostly just reactors, a few gyros, and lots and lots of shield generators. Um, trying to keep the shields as high as possible. Um, I'm trying to think how many mods have I used this in this. Might be around four mods. I could be wrong. Um, but let's just jump in and uh, show you the stats. So here's the stats here. It's 1.64, nearly 1.65 million kilos. It's a little heavy uh, for its size, but then I have kind of crammed it full of just power and shields. And, you know, for its size, it does have all the things that it needs. Uh, so controls, you know, you, you got you got the machine guns here. So that's eight Gatling guns. So that's a lot of bullets uh, firing out forwards there. We got uh, eight rocket launchers, so... Boom, boom, I guess. Uh, and three is a little David's. All four of them uh, can be fired at once. Although, I suspect you probably want to configure it uh, so each cannon can be controlled individually. And here is the view from the ins uh, from the cockpit here. Uh, one thing you will notice is, if I look at that planet, those spikes, the ones that point inwards, they almost act a little bit like a very rough iron sight not very good but you can kind of see that it was an un it was like an unintentional just sort of side effect like you just sort of have to line up uh, whatever you're following in those crosshairs almost i mean yes i could do a lot better job with that um just get just get larger uh corner pieces whatever these metal bits i was using for the spikes and just bring them in a lot closer uh, to the center window there. So, I mean, you, I could have done that better than I did, but 
um, you know, here. So gyroscopic performance, if you're wondering, is reasonable. It's nothing too absurd. Uh, let's actually just show you acceleration here, which, you know, I suppose that's the one thing I wish, like, because of its weight and everything and the types of thrusters I was using, it's not the best accelerator, but I suppose... If people are just running away from these things, it's doing it's doing their job. You know, it's not uh, how, to, how to say like it doesn't have to be the the thing that chases um, other ships. And and you know what? While I'm just blithering to you all, let's go and take out this military mine layer just so you can see its actual uh, firepower here. And I think stopping performance is actually very good for its size. Yes, it seems to be. Um, the antennas are actually buried. You can sort of see them right there they're actually buried in between some sets of spikes so actually they do have some protection um but i would suspect like these antennas could be like relaying any information the omens see that's probably another thing i could have done but i didn't in the end is just add um let's try and take a shot of that um is adding some cameras because almost like you could relay like like the mothership could be relaying live feed uh into um you know, from the omens and stuff, and the th that's the other thing, it's kind of hard to aim these little Davids at such range. We have an assailant here, um, not that it's going to matter, although I have just smashed the... That's the thing with those um, little Davids, um, if you uh, if you hit them, hit something, they're just going to end up knocking that ship really, really far away. Uh, but the idea is you can kind of see the, the whole... Fighting style, really. That ship's actually flying away. I've probably hit it with those little Davids. I just hit it again with the Davids, uh, and it's now going away from me. But oh, it's not actually a. Oh well, it, it's that's that's dead now. Um, not to mention with the shields, I can just smash my way into objects, um, as I just did there, and had no perceivable damage, because uh, that's what shields are pretty good at. But you know. It, this thing is pretty. I mean, this thing could definitely hunt NPCs if that's what you want to use the omen for. But you know, imagine like ten of these, maybe fifty kilometers away from the mothership. Which, like I said, I still need to build that. You know, just just bear with me. Although, don't expect that anytime soon. I'm just just gonna say it's gonna take me quite a while to really get my mind together with what I'm gonna build. I don't like. I did start working on some base frame for it. But I ended up just not doing that because it kind of got a bit sort of tra too traditional in shape. Oh, speaking of which, let's let's just ram this uh, let's just ram this mine layer and just show you you can easily just go uh, whoop, crunch and that's a lot of sparks. So you don't actually have to shoot things if if you know the um, your target is unshielded, you could just um, could just do that and uh, destroy everything. So there you go, that is Dread's Omen. Um, I suppose a ship that's going to be part of a much bigger ship at some point. I kind of want the idea actually to try and have this mothership able to, to almost like either 3D print or at least dock an Omen. The thing is, that's going to be one fucking huge ship, pardon my French, but uh, that's like, I don't know. Just, just leave it with me. I'll think of something. But you know, I kind of want to try some other games at some point, as well as alternating between my usual engineer stuff. I've still got quite a few different projects. As you can tell by all these waypoints around the world, I've got lots of stuff um, that I've already uh, pretty much finished, you know, project-wise. So there'll be engineers' videos. I'll still keep putting that out there, because ultimately that's kind of what you're all here for. So, you know, I'll try and satisfy the audience. Um, but, you know, anyway, a uh, link to this ship will be in the description, into the workshop and everything. Uh, and all the rest. My Discord, if you want to say hi or see any sneak peek projects or just I don't know. I've got like quite. I've got like a few hundred people now uh, in my Discord. Um, actually, I haven't actually counted. Probably it's a couple hundred about now. I don't know. But if you want to say hi, then uh, that's in the description for the Discord server and uh, all the rest. So hopefully, I haven't bored you all to death with my ramblings. Um, but you know, sometimes I, in some respects, maybe I should just make separate videos. Uh, just giving you guys like updates and stuff and just rather than trying to tack it on to engineers videos because but that's the problem ultimately you guys are going to be wanting to like you're going to be here to watch engineers so it kind of makes sense for me to to tack on whatever i want to say in the engineers videos you can kind of see my small amount of logic there but you know that's just you know that's just how it goes um but anyway thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next video